So let's continue on our tour of Avid Metafuse, a standalone application available as a free download from avid.com and also supplied free with any purchase of Media Composer or Symphony version 3 and later. Once you have scanned the folders which contain your sequential media and have added or enhanced the metadata, it's now time to create the editorial friendly media files. So here are the groups we were working with earlier and you can see that multiple transcode jobs can be created and applied to groups of files. Once a transcode job has been created, you can edit the metadata, display the metadata as an overlay, add a LUT to correct for different color spaces, as well as select a different conversion mode based on source aspect ratio to best fit the 16 by 9 target. Metafuse also includes overlay controls. If we bring up the burn-in editor, you can select what type of metadata are presented in the overlay and the order and position in which they will be displayed. For example, adding tape first then timecode will create a display in that order. And obviously if I want to reorder, I just move their positions in the stack. You may also place them on separate lines by inserting the line break command where necessary. The font and point size can also be adjusted for each group. More than one group can be created if different parameters need to be displayed. And of course, all of this can be exported and saved for repeated use. Selecting a transcode line in the main display will allow you to set other parameters such as compression and aspect ratio. Metafuse also allows for correction of metadata. For example, the ability to edit timecode or in the cases of sources that do not have metadata, for example, sequential TIFF files, you can add timecode or key code allowing the graphic file formats to be used as a proxy for formats that do have metadata, or for more complicated workflows involving using key code to relink layers in effect stacks on the Avid timeline. In any case, before starting the transcode, there are some additional factors you'll want to consider. Leveraging the ideal number of processors based on your CPU, and color management via lookup tables or LUTs. If we go to the Options menu and select the Transcode options, you can set the number of threads to be used. Depending on your needs, you can allocate from 2 to 8 threads. For color management, ensure you have the proper LUT applied depending on the source. LUT management can be accessed directly from the Edit LUTs button. A series of preset LUTs can then be accessed or custom LUT settings can be created. And that's not all. 1D and 3D LUTs created elsewhere can also be imported into Metafuse. In the Details view pane, you can also include other metadata, such as the project name, which allows for complete media management, as this association will function within the Avid Media tool. The MXF file carries a defined set of metadata, but the additional metadata available in Metafuse can be exported out as an ALE. The metadata in the ALE can be associated directly with clips later using the Merge option in ALE Import within Media Composer or Symphony please see the respective user guides for more detailed information. The default directory for file creation can be set in the details pane under Folder. Another nice feature is that you can select multiple jobs for transcoding. The same source file can have multiple transcodes applied. For example, an offline or proxy quality set of files with a metadata overlay and also a clean set of online quality files might be desired. Once all the parameters are set, start the transcode. This function, along with other actions, is also available by right-clicking on the group in the main view. Executing the command begins all selected transcodes. The new Avid media files can be rendered directly to your local or shared storage and will appear as MXF files in the media tool. You can drag these files directly to the bin from the media tool and any metadata extracted during the transcode is now available in your Avid bin and can be used as part of your Avid sequences. Avid Metafuse is a standalone application available as a free download from avid.com.